Hey Jules Plus Vegan and as always welcome to my channel and for those of you who are new I know you can benefit. This is my rainy day hair people. They actually got rain in the high desert all of Southern California. All of Northern California. Let's just say California got rain. I mean yeah it was only for like a day but still it was super exciting. I couldn't help but think of the carpenters. Rainy days and Mondays always get me down. But you know what? They don't. I love the rain. And it was super exciting. And my students were super excited too. And we all got soaking wet and laughed. And this is my rainy day hair, which is fine. Curly girl syndrome, right? <laughs> all right, people. If you've been following me, you might know that I've been doing a little series on fear trying to break through my next level. So I've been using For Today by Overeaters Anonymous, a daily thought book. And today is page 259. 259, it's another good one. Worthy of reflection. One moment, please. Let me think about that. Where'd you put it, Jules? Right here. I got it. Okay, cool. So it reads... He that will not sail until all dangers are over will never be put to sea. That's by Thomas Fuller. I mean, that's straight up, right? Every time we wait till everything's perfect, everything is lined up just right. The stars are aligned in the universe, you know, like, etc. It's just not going to happen. I mean, at some point you got to call it and just go for it, right? I was just noticing, can you believe how bruised my hand still is. Yeah, it's starting to break up, but honestly, it was such a fluke. Just smacking it with my keys, and it has been days, right? Wow, that was just a shock. Anyway, it's coming along. All right, so it reads, Fear keeps me from reaching out. There is always the danger of being rejected, and until such dangers are over, I can't risk it. It's easy to think that the world has rejected me, but as I look at past experience with the honesty this program teaches, again, the reference in like the 12 step program, I see that it's the other way around. It is I who does the rejecting in subtle ways to be sure, but it is rejection nonetheless. Isn't that, I hear victims all the time saying everybody, you know, ignores me everybody's caring about everybody but me every time I reach out no one gets back to me and it's like oh my gosh what is your part in that because <laughs> for me I expect people to get back to me and I will continue to hunt them if they don't right I mean like where is that so yeah my disease is one of isolation and closeness is the risk most feared I totally get that because yeah, when you're in the thick of compulsive overeating, in the thick of all that deception, this is why I say like all my sins are surrounded food and that food is a very jealous lover, right? Addiction is a jealous lover. When it wants your undivided attention, when it gets you to the point of lying, cheating, stealing for all of it, right? I have been there too many times to count, too many times. And, and my whole persona will change. If I'm obsessing about getting food, if I have food and it's hidden, it's literally like calling me. I become very short and easily frustrated with whoever I'm working with. And they'll be like, did I do something? Yeah, you're in the way of me and my lover, <laughs> which is my food, which wants to poison me and keep me to itself. Ah, oh, if you're not familiar people, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. All right. So it says today with the support of my fellow OAs, or again, if you're a Tani Raw Resetter, if you're in Greens Make You Lean, whatever your group is, right? With the support of your group, I do not need guarantees that I will be accepted every time I reach out. I just go ahead and do it, right? And, and also recognizing that if we are rejected, it's usually the other person's situation and not ours. So I was thinking, you know, when people are in the industry, so like in Hollywood, they know 
the ones who are successful get to the point where they're like, I can go on a hundred auditions. It doesn't matter how I did. It's just that I did it and I walk away knowing that they either want me or they don't. It's that simple. I either meet the criteria for what they're looking for. I either fit the role that they're looking for or I don't. And I move on to my next audition. You know, it's not about me, me, me. It's a process. It's a business. I either fit or I don't and I move on until I do. I love that attitude. I just think that's amazing. I just love the idea of that. So yeah, I don't need guarantees that I'll be accepted every time I reach out. I just go ahead and do it. For today, I'm ready to walk toward the world to risk becoming part of it. Ah, oh, isn't that so true? I'm just thinking about that. Just thinking about that because every single time you know, my thing is I have, when I have money, my best thing to do is give it away <laughs> as fast as I can. I mean, I, I give it to every person on the street that I see is in need because I know that the option is that I will probably misspend it on terrible food that's not in my program. It's so sad. That's not always true for me, but I've been in a bad place for a while. And so I just have to be aware of that tendency. All right, let's do the clean read. He, one moment. He that will not sail until all dangers are over will never put to sea. Thomas Fuller. Fear keeps me from reaching out. There's always the danger of being rejected and until such dangers are over, I can't risk it. It's easy to think the world has rejected me, but as I look at past experience, with the honesty this program teaches, I see that it's the other way around. It is I who does the rejecting in subtle ways to be sure, but it is rejection nonetheless. My disease is one of isolation and closeness is the risk most feared, meaning intimacy, right? Today, with the support of my fellow OAs, I do not need guarantees that I will be accepted every time I reach out. I just go ahead and do it. For today, I am ready to walk toward the world to risk becoming part of it. <sighs> it's a powerful one. I have to think about it. <laughs> Yet I certainly do know how to push people away. Again, especially if I'm caught up in um, the compulsiveness of food and and just just the insanity of that. It's such a bummer. But it's still my truth, and I can navigate my way through it and have for years until I didn't and need to again. All right, my friends, that's it. I don't know if that touches you, but thank you for letting me share. I love my JBV community. You guys are the best. So, as always, like if you'd like, join us if you haven't. Subscribe. Let me know in the comments below how I may support you. And until we talk again, best of all, Know that you're blessed.